Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey in the Valtron province. As part of that, as always, we are continuing the storyline and there is one more route to route out, which is uh, that one here and hopefully we will get the fate of uh, Vertrus back uh, on the right track. In the meantime, short update. Uh, you have uh, potentially seen that my money went down quite a bit. Well, uh, we have built a trade post and I did that in the background. Of course, overall 1,500 gold pieces, but now I can fast travel between at least two locations. So it seems you can kind of build these trade posts in different lo uh, locations. Won't make a lot of difference for you as the viewer because I'm... Uh, cutting out the boring part but it makes an awful lot of a difference for me on top of that uh, two other updates Dilly G has leveled to level 6 which is great um, and the other update is since we're the champion of the arena I was uh, able to get the reward uh, from that guy at the mill that promised uh, to speak with us and he offered us a, an additional specialization for enders called assassin which looked quite good kind of bleed based skills which I think are fun so let's put everybody here into the right place. Diddy is fast, he can get around uh, the battlefield. Nah, that's not good enough. Good, so we need to do it that way. Cool. Starting with our usual maneuver. Move here. Give him orderly. And then move right into it. Alright. Being attacked from behind. I don't like that. Hence, everybody needs inspiration. And we're pulling this guy off of him. Roby is the bear. Does a bear-like maneuver. And claws that, uh, that archer. That's a decent position. One, two, three. Moving up, best friend bonus. Good, we're flanking this guy from behind. Gets brutality and we're getting a bit of ve valor. Obi is being attacked by the sentry. Doesn't care too much. In the meantime, That's a solid hit. And that is weakening the guy. Mm. 
moves over here casually kills that guy then takes aim and slows all of them down plus deals a ton of damage I love Dilly G it's just doing a fantastic job Three, four, five. That'll give us more valor than needed. Anders moves up. Can hit two. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And he's moving back. New round is starting. Everybody gets uh, fury. This guy disengages. And we're getting more Valor. Polly spends some of uh, the precious Valor. And begins to turn this guy around so that we can actually kill him. Roby does what a bear does, bury things. Let's kill. And a massive crit. Moving to here, getting some Valor back. Easy. All right, time to move up. One, two, three, almost down. Four. And five. Miss Grell does not take no for an answer. Time for some sneaky sneaky poisoning. Anders does exactly that. another guy down <laughs> Dilly hits 85 with an AoE attack oh boy all right well level four armor I call the fight mercenaries those gladiators are... don't think I only came here to admire your skills the broker asked me to tell the vintners you are heading this way so that they wouldn't mistake you for the ones you the broker are... also asked me to give you your reward once you're finished something about Lady Brunhilde has him very preoccupied and he has no time for visitors at the castle okay well We got a hundred crowns, which is great. And now I think it's a matter of the storyline itself is done. All, all there is, is the tome.
Oh, no, 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 no. We're still hunted. Might be best to take camp here. Hunted is a fun mechanic. I could just uh, get caught and pay off everything, but I want to continue the RP part of it. At the end of the day, we're Robin Hoods. Very good. So let's see what the mayor is going to say us uh, say to us. The sewer problem has had such a neck. Hmm. That was not it. This here is, by the way, the travel post. Just want to show you how that works. So we could uh, talk with our stewardess here, and she would essentially allow us Where are you off to, this time? to travel. Uh, I've only uh, yet gotten strong cap up, but. It'll take a couple of hours, you need to provide rations, but other than that, it's relatively straightforward. And there's even a garrison, so additional troops that we have not yet, uh, that we cannot use really, we can put them into the garrison, which I like. Of course, none of our uh, companions would be, uh, would be there, but if we find spare troops, that's the way to, uh, to go about it, I think. Good, just double checking. Medicine, we don't need much. For remedy, we still have plenty. There is a sapphire. I was hoping we would get one because we need that for the statue in the tome, which is going to happen next. Elsewise, I would have needed to buy one. So that was helpful. That was very helpful. And then the one thing that I learned is always Strange. look for salt. The market doesn't stink quite as much. Because that's really the only thing that I need. But the disease has With a master cook, the rest is a child's play. So we'll uh, reconvene uh, at the tome. Uh, I want to uh, not bother you with the travel, but uh, let's go do exactly that and uh, let's fast forward to the tome. Okay, before we are continuing with the temple, I actually found out that uh, the castle is here and it is a great moment to I continue the storyline. Because I cannot entrust the guard or the brotherhood with this mission. Arresting an Alazarian princess is both dangerous and unheard of. Everything you learned from the trackers, Rosal and Juran, points to Brunhild Adra Alazar. She poisoned Vertrus in a bid to make me pay dearly for the remedy. Corrine's abduction is the key to this whole mess. With her gone, I am free to wed another woman, Brunhild's daughter, under the law of all-seeing eye. Uniting Vertrus and Alazar is the first step to fulfilling their dream of restoring the Northern Kingdom. You must bring them back to reality. My men have surrounded Brunhild Adra Alazar's manor, but I need your help to apprehend her. Alright, that's our way to get uh, the border pass. At the end it was all an intrigue uh, game of uh, the ruling class. Well, why am I not surprised about that? No medieval uh, game without a little bit of intrigue.
I think we'll get one of those. Iron ore is the most precious of our metals at the moment. I would love to have another off-hand attack uh, with um, Enders, but I need the torches for the exploration and I want to keep the white leather for actual armor and weapons. Oh, speaking about which, by the way, the fact that Lord I wish you could just buy just iron ore. But that would potentially invalidate uh, the uh, the miner's uh, skill too much. I was just wondering. Yeah, we're still short. Nemri doesn't even have a proper weapon. An upgraded one-hand sword would have been fantastic. Good for us. Next stop is going to be the manor. Let's go there. And there we are. We won't get in the way. The broker asked us to let you arrest this woman. Our role is only to stop her until your arrival. Fair enough. Let's see what she has to say in her defense. How ironic. Clement sent my own people to kill me. I don't suppose you mentioned abducting his fiance. <laughs> of course you didn't. You are going to slaughter Clement's men and let me go. Why, you ask? Because you need me to escape, of course. I'm taking Corrine with me, along with any evidence linking you to me. No one will ever know of your actions here. And if that doesn't convince you to bend the rules, I am offering you a reward and giving you access to Alazar. So what do you say? Well, I say eat my sword <laughs> we are robin hood and robin hood was not a merciless slaughterer he uh, helped to liberate uh, well he actually helped the poor and stole a lot let's put that here and So, how and where Polia is going to take this flank? Namri is actually going to take that flank. Good. Seems about right. Let's get that one going. And we're engaging in combat. Here we go. Frontline established. <laughs> Equally on the other side. Cute. But she's given her vulnerability. Shouldn't underestimate that. We're cleaning up this side first. Best friend bonus. Nice little crit. And we're earning us some much needed Valor. Slow them down, may need to crowd control. Hit Brunhild and let's just stay over here to get that sweet, sweet Valor bonus. Oh, 
All right. The retaliation definitely works well. Now that is a massive cluster F. Slowing all of them down before moving over. Brunhild is almost dead. Roby does what a bear is supposed to go for the archers. Good, the slowdown on this side here has worked like a charm. Triple poison into getting all Valor points back into Stabby Stabby I think I should actually use the torch that extra attack is incredibly helpful Unfortunately, our throwing attack has only one charge and I'm just using it for the stat boost. I think the torch is the better choice. Well, hello there. One, two, three. Move up. And engage in melee combat. Cool. Good ovations again, which means a lot of uh, us are getting repost, which is fine. Good, Dilly is supposed to clear this mess out. Kills one. Severely injures the recruit. And then kind of moves into the middle because really he could be used at both sides. Oh, that's dangerous. We don't like surroundings. Hence, we need to do something about that. There we go. Proper kill. Valor, Valor back. We're moving to the other side because this flank here appears to be cleared. Uh, just for, for full effect, let's give everyone here fury. And then we're getting our Valor back. Obi does what he always does best. Frontline fighting. Namri engages. 
hits this guy and he's potentially going down. I tell you what, we'll take that m meager attack. Get a retaliation instead. One. Two. Three. And weakening this guy. Oh, he has retaliation as well. And he still hit us for t almost 20. That's not good. Triple poison. Straight up kill here into no, nah, I don't like that. We don't want to be bugged down. That's more like it. Moving in and moving out. Roby continues his uh, melee attacks, which is good. Dilly moves up. Shoots and solidly kills them. This guy is 80% guard. Oof, that's crazy. Alright, ovation is the way to go. Before engaging again, we need to attack him from behind. Good. Poison. Yeah, he's weak from behind. And the poison also ticks nicely. One. Two. Three. He finally has lost his guard. There is the kill we were waiting for. For this guy here gets surrounded. A little bit of first aid. That's the hit, and finally his guard dropped. Good, we're engaging in combat here.
come on, Roby, that... Yeah, there we go. It won't go down just because... Um, because someone has a bit of defense, right? Good, poorly. Make sure everybody can move fast. Then begins to move himself. Ends his turn. Roby claws from the back. So he moves up. Hits him nicely from the back. Anders surrounds and kills. I like it. That took a lot of uh, repairs and some medicine. Tough battle. But look at that. We got a level uh, a one-handed sword with the cautious ability. Critical hit applies weakening for one round. That's not bad. That's a decent weapon. And level 6 uh, dagger, which is not as good as ours. Unfortunately, we're not even level 6 at, at this point. You, you, you killed Brunhilde Adra Alazar to free me. But weren't you following her orders? I am confused. I... I just want to get out of here. Yeah, I'm confused as well. Lots going on. Political intrigues left and right. And we just killed her. Well. We got a lot of level 6 weapons at our disposal. And Emery isn't that far off. A fight or two. Have you arrested Brunhild? Having to deal with the diplomatic consequences of this death will not sit well with the Broker Council. That being said, Alazar's interference in our affairs cannot remain unpunished. As for me, I'm in your debt. Thanks to you, I once again rule over a prosperous province and am betrothed to a maiden I trust entirely. Please accept this reward, which I hope is fair compensation for your efforts. Oh, it is. Thank you. Border Pass, Renown, and we finally finished the Vertrun's uh, province main storyline. There is still a hard boss to be fought and a temple to be explored, but I think that tale is to tell for another time, guys. For now, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate uh, your viewership. If you uh, were as uh, surprised by her betrayal as I was, uh, leave a comment and a like down below. Would you uh, have sided with her or would you have actually killed her? Let me know and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.